Today we're going to take a look, a brief look at the Docker implementation for Wasm because it's already there. What we need is actually the current version of Docker, which is for now 4.15. And we need to tick a little box here. So we go to preferences, features and development, and then we have to tick this box. Use container D for pulling and storing images. Um, it's important to know that you can untick this later, but, but without the box being ticked, Wasm support won't be there. What's also important, as it is stated here, if you now take a look at our containers that are running usually, there are no containers running. So for example, if you have something like Potainer running, it's not there because the container implementation has been switched. But again, if you untick the box, everything will be safe and sound as before. Okay, now with that being said, we are good to go. So how can we run Wasm images? Well, it's pretty simple. It's just a simple Docker run command. So for example, I will use this Docker run command to use one of my own Wasm files. And it will just give me my name is Slim Shady. So we have the normal Docker run command and what is added here, the so-called runtime, where we say Wasm Edge. Wasm Edge is just an alternative to Wasm Time I showed you in the last video. And then we say platform Wasm Wasi 32 and the image name. And this image is has been uploaded to Docker Hub. So um, it basi it's basically works the same way as with normal Docker images, which also means that we have a registry here. So again, we can just run this and it works. There are also, of course, already existing images. So I took this from one of the examples you can see on the Docker page. So if we run this one, we actually get a HTTP server. So if I now say curl and a word from Rust running with Wasm, so this is actually an HTTP server running in with Wasm in Docker. If we want to take a look how much CPU and RAM this takes, hmm, we see obviously nothing. And I think this is because um, Wasm support and Wasi support is still beta. Okay. That's how we can run existing Wasm images with Docker. Now let's take a look how we can build them. Um, for this, I have my pre-compiled, say my name, Wasm compiled from Go. And as always, we need a Docker file. The Docker file just has from scratch because we are working with a totally empty image here. We say copy, say my name, Wasm, from my local folder to the root folder and the entry part is also same my name wasn't. So it's pretty similar than, than a normal Docker image would look like, but it's important to have it from scratch and not from Alpine or everything else. And we can simply build this with Docker build X. It's important that we have the X here, build Docker file. And then again, we have the additional parameter of the platform, which is Vasi 32, but everything else is just the same. So let's try that. I will run my build sh. It will build, it will push, push the image, and then we can actually run it. And it works. And again, this is the image then we have at Docker Hub. Um, one last thing. Uh, it is also possible to to run the REST service I showed you in the previous video, at least in theory. So we can go the same route here. We just need to have a simple other Docker file for the REST service, which basically has REST service and plate for same my name. I already did this, but unfortunately, this yields to the same result as before. So if I run this, it will start and will stop. So um, even if we saw with the other image that it's possible to have an HTTP server running, it's not that simple that we can compile a simple Go REST service and then it will just work. So I guess there is more stuff that needs to be in the background to be done. Um, the other example, so this one I showed you before, is again based on Rust. So again, I think uh, Rust is still the best supported option for going with Fuzzy. Okay, that's it. No intro, no outro this time. Thank you very much for joining me. 
and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.